In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the like operator. Now the like operator is used in conjunction with the where clause. And we're going to do this inside of a select statement. We'll also have a look at two new wild cards. Uh, remember we've had a look at the asterisk wild card so far in this SQL tutorial. And in this, in this tutorial, we'll have a look at the percentage sign and the underscore. So firstly, we need to tell SQL that we're going to be working with a specific database where we'll create a use query. My database is called tutormeonline underscore SQL. Then to check that we have selected the correct database, we can use the select database function. And there we go, tutormeonline underscore SQL is the correct database. Then just to refresh, we can use the show tables statement, which will show us all the tables inside of the tutormeonline underscore SQL database. And in this specific example, we're going to look at the employees, the employees table. So for starters, let's use a select statement just to show, just to show all the data that we do have inside of the tables. Sorry, let me just fix that. Select star from employees. All right, so here we have a, data, uh, a table which contains data for uh, a bunch of employees, which includes their name, surname, their age, and their job description. So to use the like operator, we need to specify where something, where something exists, some, some pattern that we are looking for. So we'll, for this example, we'll have a look in the name column. So we'll say where name, and this is where the like operator comes in. Because we are going to compare it to a string, we need to encapsulate it in single quotations. And let's have a look. Let's uh, narrow this query down so that it returns all of the names that start with the letter J. So I'm going to do it like this without a wildcard first. And you'll see that it returns no data whatsoever. That's because it's looking for, for all the names that are, well, that, that don't have anything else besides a J in the string. Now, obviously, this is not the case because we have names in there, and I don't think anybody's name is only the letter J. So we need to append a wildcard onto this. Now, the percentage sign wildcard is a wildcard that substitutes multiple characters. So it will look for any characters, and not just one, but more than one. So this will then look for any, any name that starts with the letter J, and then has any multiple characters behind it. So let's run that query, and then we can see it returns all of the names that start with J. If we'd like to look for a word that contains, or a name that contains, let's say, the letter H, but does not specifically start with the letter H, we can append a percentage sign to the beginning of it. So this will look for uh, any multiple characters before the letter H and then any multiple characters after the letter H. So if we run that query, and that seems right. It returns John, Johan, Sarah, and Joseph, which all contain the letter H within the name. Then if we would like to substitute a wildcard for just one character, then we can use the underscore. Now the underscore will just look for one specific character, unlike the percentage sign which looks for multiple characters. So if we run that search, we'll get specifically, uh, it will point specifically to the name Johan. And we can test that by adding it into the middle of the name, running it, and it still returns it. So that's how you use the like statement, uh, the like operator within a where clause. And using the percentage sign uh, for multiple characters, wildcard, and the underscore for single characters, wildcard.